Hi everyone, I hope you are safe and doing great. I am Irfan Mustaq, Master Student in Good Ecosystem and Agricultural Sciences Program at Cranford Campus, Mahmood University of Newfoundland and Labrador. So today I am going to present my research in 3 minutes video competition. So as we all know that the basic aim of every farmer is to get maximum crop yield with minimum cost of production. So that's the same story of our project with one additional benefit to also fight with climate change. So as we all know that nitrogen is an essential micronutrient for crop growth and development. So farmers are using more nitrogenous fertilizer to increase their crop yield. So as a result of more application of nitrogenous fertilizer, more than 70% of applied nitrogen is lost via leaching volatilization and emission of nitrous oxide as a result of denitrification. So this nitrous oxide is a greenhouse gas and it has 298 times greater global warming potential than carbon dioxide. So this is the alarming situation for the climate change of Canada. So should we reduce the application of nitrogen fertilizers to get rid of these problems? No, not at all. Because farmers don't have concern with the climate change they have only concern with their profit so what we are doing we are using nitrogen fertilizer stabilizers in the form of nitrification and urease inhibitors so uh, what they do actually these are like fertilizers but they depress the activity of microbes and as a result nitrogen release slowly and is available for more time for plant uptake so in this way we are uh, uh, doing soil samples for microbial analysis we are also measuring greenhouse gases and we are also recording the agronomic data uh, for different crops so uh, in the in this way by using um, nitrogen fertilizer stabilizers not only farmers will get the maximum profit but it will also improve the climatic conditions of Newfoundland and Labrador Canada so thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed that and have a great day